Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a new Let's Play. This is The Suffering on the original Xbox. Now, I have never actually played this game before. Uh, it's one that I've always kind of had my eyes on. I was going to play through the game once before I actually started this LP. However, uh, a couple of you guys in my Discord have recommended that I should probably go into this one blind. Now, I have previously watched a Let's Play of this game by Halloween. Uh, used to be one of my favourite LPs, but he's, you know, like so many of the greats, has now uh, <laughs> abandoned that for streaming. Um, but that was probably... Oh, it must have been somewhere in the region of 10 years ago. So, essentially, I don't really remember anything about this game at all. I know... What do we have bonus material? PsyOps trailer. That was a good game that I never played. Anyway. Um, yeah, I know we start off in a prison. Uh, I know demons or monsters or something attack. And we can play in first person and third person. And that's it. We're going to be going on the medium difficulty. Because I don't even know the game's controls. This is going to be fun. I'm looking forward to this. So, without any ado, let's play The Suffering. The worst place on earth. My first day on the island. I knew my life was over. And I had really time have I done this? And I still hate I swear, Abbott's full enough already. <laughs> At least when you escort an inmate to death row, you know he's scheduled to get what he deserves. Ernesto, you can really be a jackass. You know that. Oh, you hear what this one did? I don't want to know. And you know when he I... He beat his ex-wife to a bloody pulp. Killed her with his fists. Look, I said I didn't... Then he drowned one son in the tub and threw the other out a window. Don't ask me to cry for him. Whew. Inmate, is this true? Oh, he won't say. Claims he blacked the whole thing out. A likely story. The needle's too good for him. Filthy inmate. They should all die. Willie's bed isn't even cold yet. And already they brought in a new guy. I heard he killed his old lady and kids. Sick motherfucker. Be quiet, you jerry curled fool. Don't you know who that is? Why should I? That's Torque, the man himself. <laughs> Word is he sheared half the Aryan Brotherhood over at Easton. So fucking what? I can understand a guy killing his old lady, but he popped his kids too. Motherfucker deserves to be strapped down and dosed. You believe what the COs tell you, Slick? You don't know shit about the man. I'm telling you, what I heard, he's all right. That cocksucker's not going to be all right for long if he's in the row with the rest of us short timers. Shut your cracker ass, Goose. Man's do respect. You show him respect. I decide who I respect, shit boy. Don't you go tell me. Why down in there? Some of you want to go back on the loaf? I didn't think so. Hey, you. Yeah, you. Neighbor. Nice to meet you. My name's Floyd. How long you got to get turned on the table, huh? Y'all out of appeals? Your lawyer fuck you? I read about your trial. They got no witnesses, all circumstantial evidence. No one knows what really happened but you. But you can't remember a thing, is that right? Best not to listen to him talk. Floyd's a degenerate parasite. They should have slapped the cuffs on him coming out of his mama's At least trunk. I know Jesus is with me, man. <laughs> Whatever I've done, the Reverend says Jesus has forgiven me. Will you shut the fuck up, you baby-raping, sodomizing sack of shit? I was just asking the man a question, Goose. Whoa. What the fuck is this shit? Oh, fuck. Fuck. What the hell is going on? The South. We still humans, man. The whole we got fucking rights. place is coming down. Sweet Jesus, what the hell was that? Slick, you okay, man? Is the prison collapsing? <laughs> Are we sinking into the ocean? CO, CO, what the hell is going on? Slick, what in the fuck just happened? Slick, Slick, Goose, you still there? Yeah, I'm still here. And it wasn't me. If that's what you're thinking, I didn't touch that. What was that? Goose? For fuck's sake, what's going on? How 
was close. I thought we were done for. We gotta get out of this shit can before it collapses. Shit. There's something in here. It's in here! Help me! Well, <laughs> uh, that was a thing that happened. My God. So, our name is Talk. Cool name, by the way. Careful, don't cut yourself on the sharp edges. And we murdered our wife and our two kids. Right, but we don't remember any of that because we blacked out. And we're in death row. We've been locked up with a pedo who's been deliciously sliced up. Best thing that could have happened to him. And two other people that have all been murdered as well. Uh, but apparently we're not all bad because we were murdering white supremacists. So, you know, this game's quite progressive in a way. All right. Cool. Let's go. Ooh. Well, I guess the door to ourselves open now. It's rather convenient. Uh, I guess the officers are being murdered as well. Hey. Inmate, back in your cell. Everything's under control. Yeah. Ooh. Where? How's uh? How's that going for you, Chief? All right. Oh, take the shiv. Use the right trigger to attack with your current weapon. Alright. Cool. So, what are the... Okay. He had some, um... Art. On... Oh, hello. Art on the window. On the wall, rather. Cool. There we go. We get, like, first person mode. Which is pretty interesting. I, yeah, I quite like the idea of that. I like Mimi Bethesda game, so we're going to go first person. Um, not really sure how we open doors and things. All right, well, I mean, the door's open for us. You waiting for me? Who's waiting for me? Mother, is that you? Looks like these cops are shooting at nothing. Oh, they're dead now. Alright, a little bit like evil within. Got ya. Alright, so we've got a man running around with knives for his hands. That's... Interesting. So, I don't really know. I know these games have kind of mediocre reviews. Like, some people seem to really enjoy them. Zombium. Zombium? Well, this gentleman didn't have a lot left of him. Probably for the best. Lots of pills in here, apparently. I guess when you're locked up in a little cell like this. I guess popping pills is about all you get. I'm surprised they're allowed pills, actually. Well, I mean, I, he met his god, I suppose. So, you know, good for him. This really does look like the worst place on earth. Alright. We can't fiddle with that. Alright, cool. Let's get out of here. Let's see what's going on. Oh. I see. Head crap. Oh, hello. Yeah. Uh guess. How's it going, Chief? <laughs> we can get out. <laughs> Alright. So, what's this way then? We've got administration. We've got a red room. Oh. I heard a mutant. I guess they're mutants. I'm not really sure what we're fighting, to be honest. We've got the showers. I guess 
Yes, somebody dropped the soap around here. Won't be us, though. Oh, we can open lockers. Hello. Not really the best place to be resting, to be honest. More pills. We've got lots of pills. I'm guessing they're health. Ah, flashlight bat. Oh, no. Flashlight batteries. You know what that means, guys. That means we're going to have to micromanage. Oh, hello. Micromanage our flashlight. I mean, I'm trying to escape. Uh, I've also noticed this shiv that we got is less of a little shiv and more of like half a girder. Can I turn on? Uh, I'm guessing. Oh, there is subtitles. Huh. All right. Cool. We go with subtitles. So we need to escape from here because this is more than what it seems. Apparently. I mean, we don't have any context to that. Is it some kind of sanitary... Yeah, their friend. You... <laughs> yeah, you, you probably should be worrying about yourself, to be honest, dude. I think it's time to... Oh. It's time to just get the fuck out of Dodge. There's lots of noise happening. Ooh, revolver ammo. Interesting. That's anticlimactic. So, we've just had a phone call from a woman that knows us. I mean, at least... Ooh, more flashlight batteries. At least she called us T. So, she's either very good at guessing, or she knows what's going on around here. This game is very, very dark. I guess that's kind of by design. Alright, well, no more messing around. It's like our friend that was going to get us out of here has died horrendously. Well, we'll try and remember him. Thank God I made it into the light. I think I'm safe in the light. You've got to get me out of here! Oh, yeah, well... <laughs> Didn't really work out so well for you, did it? I guess the light doesn't really make much difference. Oh. Hey Nash. Perfectly safe, brother. Um, oh, urgent note. So we get notes and things. Archives. Whoa, what is all this? Clem's notebook. Consuela's notebook. Contained in these pages Ooh. are my observations of the bizarre creatures that have appeared on Carnate Island since the cataclysm struck. The creatures emerge in a variety of ways, but many of them appear to come from within the island itself. As if the very earth of Carnate were poisonous and vile. Though I scarcely have time to keep a journal like this while trying to keep myself alive, my inquisitive nature forces me to write down what I see in the hope that I might better understand it. But how can this unspeakable horror possibly be understood? It is as if Carnate's horrific sins, both past and present, are being brought to life in a pageant of 
pageant of death. I like that. Alright. So I guess we have to find all of these pages. Alright, that's interesting. When Ernesto took his job at Abbott, I was far from excited. When he told me we would need to move to Carnate Island as well, I was not happy at all. But I tried to find a good side to the situation. I have always been interested in the history of unique places. What kind of history would we find on Carnate? This scrapbook project was started primarily to fill my time here, but also so I could record what I had discovered. In my exploration of the island, I uncovered many of Carnate's secrets. Though I record them here, I do not think I will tell the world about what I have found. Carnate is a place whose secrets are best kept to itself. Hmm. Abbott State Penitentiary. Originally built as part of Fort Malison to house German POWs during World War II, it was taken over by Maryland following the war and converted into Abbott State Penitentiary. Mostly built out of local quarry rock, the prison is now home to nearly 1,000 inmates Damn. and has the worst safety record and highest homicide rate of any prison in the Maryland Department of Corrections system. <laughs> the state also carries out the majority of its death sentences here. Right. A thousand inmates. Yeah, also, I don't think the inmates are necessarily behind what's going on. Uh, I mean, maybe the in inmates have, have, have somehow cobbled together sword spiders, but uh, I think that's a bit of a reach. Alright, I, I kind of like that. And I'm guessing we can save anywhere we want. Which is really cool, actually, for an Xbox game. Alright, well, whatever. Let's uh, continue escaping. Also saving wherever we want. Oh, and checkpoints as well. Oh. It's going to be really convenient. Alright, you. Probably should start that noise come from in here? Uh, maybe it did. Doors close on their own. Now, do we have any kind of map? Because... Uh, oh! Ah, urgent notes. Use D-pad to navigate inventory. Use right trigger. Okay. Alright, we're still getting used to this. To whoever finds this, it's Armageddon. I have to get off. have to get Abbott off this island. Cash uh, plus I going back to S block and then radio building. Got to send out SOS before things get worse. Going to need a lot of guys to fight our way there. So come on if you can. Alright. And then there's a photo of our family. Was our wife a swaler? Or whatever she was called. <laughs> Alright, Chief. Let's see how this combat works. Do you hear me, Yes, I hear you. Not a hell of protocol. Everything's gone to shit. Right now, I prefer a murdering scum from the road to one of those monstrosities. We got a better chance to survive if we stick together. But you will do exactly what I say, or I will punch a hole in your sorry ass. Got it? Calm down, Fuck you. Don't make you when I've seen these bastards time. spawn, I prefer to stay in the dark. Go get a flashlight from the break room down the hall. And no funny stuff. Or I will blow your head off. Comprende? Okay, this is interesting. Because there's two voices going on at the same time. I thought it was background voice. But it's not. You've got like a woman's voice in your head. Telling you to like, you know. Chill out. Trust him. Give him a chance. And there's another like demonic voice in your head. That's telling me to kill this guy. 
All right. Uh, I mean, I like that. Also, that guy was a pussy, man. I thought I kind of expected a more. Flashlight to see a damn thing. Yeah, alright, buddy, we're going. So, flashlight down here, you say. Makes sense. So, I guess something creepy is going on in our head. He said go down, didn't he? Where's this flashlight you speak so highly of? It's not in there, is it? Dude, what did you do in here? kind of want your gun. I'm guessing this guy was just on the throne. Oh, Jesus. Uh, Alright, that was cool. So we're getting flashbacks of our kid. Break room, is this where we're supposed to be going? I thought he said go down. Ah, there's the flashlight. So, D-pad, uh, access inventory and turn the flashlight on and off. Right. See, I like the idea of the flashlight. Des definitely need a flashlight. But, trouble is it takes batteries. And I don't know how much... Uh, life we get out of a battery. So I don't really want to push it. Can we do anything with these? Kind of looks like he's going to do something. Oh, nice. Kind of looks like he's going to do something with them, but then he doesn't. So I guess nothing. Alright. I have myself a flashlight. Now what? Do we go downstairs? Alright, you got a light. You got to head downstairs to get out of this shithole. And you better stay out of my way. If I need to shoot more of those fuckers, I will not hold my fire on your account. You read me? Yeah, right. Yeah, I hope you don't die and drop your gun, by the way. Oh, I see. You've got the magic touch. I guess you've got a key. Ooh, more bullets. We've got a lot of bullets. Oh, hello. Yeah, we got him. We got him. Yeah, they're not that tough. Really not that tough. Considering. Uh, it does look... Handle yourself all right for an inmate. Carnate Island's got a strange history. And Abbott is one fucked up who's gal. And let me tell you, we better stay away from the fucking basement. If things are bad up here, down there, it's going to be like the mouth of hell. Yeah, I'm sure. Oh. was that? I gotta check it out. Stay here. Yeah, try not to like horribly get murdered. Ooh. With the shiv equipped, use the right trigger to attack and smash through objects. Um. Oh, nice. We got his gun now. With quite a lot of bullets. So, not really sure how that guy died. This is like a first person shooter type thing. Alright. Got some stuff in there. So, the top bar seems to be our weapons. X turns the flashlight on and off. Oh, right. So, smash? No? We've got to smash this. Definitely mentioned shiving, ah, something. Is that what we want? How's that? Guessing, guessing we can't smash that unless we use large quantities of gun. 
Right, there's some sort of shield around it, I see. That's not just electric. So how do we reload? B. Alright, I like that. What is that? Is that important? So it's specifically... Ah, unless we have to destroy this. Doesn't look like it. Right, so to take pills, it's the black button. Not going through there. That sounds more clunky, like we're actually smashing something. Alright, well, I guess we can't do anything with that then. Pack some more pills. I don't know if there's like a limit to how many pills and things we can have. I suppose we're going to find out together. Anybody there? Nope. And there's some serious irons. See America. Okay. See America. Sure. Right. So, I guess we could be missing something here. Unless we destroy these. Oh, hello. I mean, that does bugger all. That just hurts us. Alright. Well, I guess we're coming back here later to somehow make a note of this place. As much as I would like to keep the flashlight on. Ooh. More bullets. I always looked at their bodies when I was done. Unless we're, like, possessed... Alright, so there's our friend. I thought he was killed, but he looks like he's hanging in there just fine. Can we go through any of these? No. Ooh, pills. Lots of... Oh, right. So there is actually a limit of pills. Good to know, I guess. Another flashlight, I suppose. The flashlight... Wow, there's a lot of pills there. Maybe health isn't going to be, like, super rare like I thought it would be. Okay. Definitely looks like we need to go through here and do something here. I mean, we can't smash that. Just turning that... Does that do, like, anything at all? Guess not. Unless we destroy above that. Yeah, that can't be right. Right, I'm going to leave this one here, guys. And when we come back... Like a fan above that? I suppose that's to extract the stench of frying... Convict. Yeah, uh, this is... Uh... Not what I imagined it would be, actually. This is kind of more action-y, arcade-y. Um, I thought we were going to have some kind of, like, I guess survival horror, I suppose. Uh, I didn't think it would be one of these games where we're capping uh, monsters left and right. But hey, I'm all down for it. Story seems to be interesting so far. Um, some kind of Jekyll and Hyde thing going on. Ah. Huh. People dying left and right. The enemies are okay. And the game controls fine for a game of its age. Um, not 
super excited about the um, flashlight mechanic, but nothing seems to be super dark. So there's that. Hmm. Looking forward to this one. All right, guys. Thank you very much for watching. And as always, till next time.